In the chilling world of horror games, not every scare hits its mark. Welcome to our countdown of the top 10 horror games that flopped. These are the games that promised us frightful delights, but instead delivered dreadful frights. They promised adrenaline pumping action and chilling narratives, but left us bored, angry or simply unimpressed. These are the games that had us questioning not just our sanity, but our choices in gaming. Prepare for a journey into the dark corners of gaming where nightmares of failure lurk. Let's plunge into the abyss and explore the horror games that didn't live up to expectations. First in the list is Colonial Marines, a sequel to the sci-fi horror film Alien. Envisioned as a thrilling shooter, it only delivered a dull, glitch-ridden gameplay. The dialogues were laufable, the graphics glitchy, and the gameplay repetitive. The game even contradicted the film's storyline, leaving players confused and disappointed. The root cause? A codic development cycle. Gearbox Software handed the game to Timegate Studios, a company with little experience in horror games. The disjointed product was a result of different visions and poor communication, leading to a flood of negative reviews and even a lawsuit over false advertising. Next up, The Quiet Man. Released in November 2018, it was an action-adventure beat-em-up game that attempted to tell a story from a deaf protagonist's perspective. However, it turned into a nightmare for players. The game was short, dull, non-interactive, with technical problems plaguing its gameplay. The combat system was unexciting, the controls unresponsive. There was nothing new, only old stale formulas. As a result, it received negative reviews and quickly flopped. Third on the list. Alone in the Dark, Illumination. A horror-themed action-adventure game released in 2015. Originally, the Alone in the Dark series was hailed as the father of survival horror games. But Illumination tarnished the series' reputation. Everything about it was ugly, glitchy, boring and frustrating. The graphics were outdated, the sound system was poor, and the gameplay was unstable. The implementation of light-based mechanics was poorly executed. Due to its lack of originality and false advertising, it received negative reviews and is now considered one of the worst games ever made. Lastly, we have Evil Within 2 a sequel to the 2014 Evil Within. Technically, it didn't flop, but it was a shadow of its predecessor. Players step into the shoes of Sebastian Castellanos, venturing into a twisted virtual world to save his daughter. It offers third-person survival horror gameplay, exploring deep themes of identity, consciousness, morality, and humanity. Despite its positive reviews, it lacked the charm and horror of the first game, making it a disappointment for fans. Six more games share similar stories of failure, ranging from flawed designs, poor execution, to unmet expectations. Each of these games promised a thrilling horror experience, but instead delivered a nightmare of a different kind, one of disappointment and frustration. These games serve as grim reminders that not all horror games manage to terrify and enthrall their audience. The echo of these flops still haunts the gaming industry. It's a chilling reminder of the precarious tightrope that developers tread, balancing the thrill of horror with compelling gameplay. These games, their flaws glaring under the harsh spotlight of criticism, have indelibly marked the landscape of horror gaming. They serve as both a warning and a lesson for future developers. They illustrate the sobering reality that even the most promising concepts can crumble under poor execution and reveal the devastating impact 
of disjointed visions and communication breakdowns. The aftermath of these failures has left a lasting imprint on the horror genre, reshaping the expectations of fans and critics alike. Yet, in the very heart of this haunting aftermath, there's an undeniable spark. A spark that fuels innovation, inspires creators to challenge conventions, and pushes the genre to its chilling extremes. These games may have flopped, but they've left a chilling legacy in their wake. In the end, even horror games can't escape the terrifying reality of failure. From disjointed development cycles and false advertising to lackluster gameplay and technical issues, these games fell short of expectations. They serve as grim reminders that even the most thrilling concepts can stumble into the abyss of obscurity. It's a chilling narrative of ambition, missteps, and the haunting aftermath of missed opportunities. Remember, not all that creeps in the gaming world is gold. Until next time, beware of the games that go bump in the night.